In this video, I'll show you how you can make a letterhead using Google Docs. So you can end up with something like this. So you've got your logo at the top and your address and maybe something at the bottom. And this would be your letterhead template. Another option is where we take something like this. So you've got your logo, but we would be printing edge to edge. So if your printer would allow edge to edge printing, you would get this effect, but you can also send them as PDFs. This gives you a bit more of a professional look. So if you've got a watermark or something like that, you can have it lapping the edge. So I'll show you how to do that. What we need to do is obviously fire up Google Docs. The document is made up of the header, your content and the footer. Now we actually want to enter the header area. So if you move to the top, you'll see that slightly darker gray area there. If we double click that. This is the header area. So if we go to insert, what we want to do is put a table in. One row, two columns. Now I'll leave the border on there at the moment. What we're going to do is get the address and the telephone number. I don't really want the commas after the address, so I'm going to take them out. I'll align this so it's adjusted to the right. And we want to place the logo in there. Insert image upload from computer this one so we'll go to the gallery at birmingham if you're over in the birmingham area in the uk i highly recommend this restaurant so that's the top that's the header now we've got the logo place what we want to do is obviously remove this border so if we highlight the zone go to the three dots now, unlike Microsoft Word, there's an option there to make borders uh, or remove borders. There isn't here. What you've got to do is basically make them invisible. So that in this case, the paper's white. So we're printing on white paper. We're just going to say we want the borders white. And that's it. They've now disappeared. Now we'll move to the footer. Double click that. I'm going to place the web address in here. I'm going to say right click. Uh, I've just copied it off the, their website. So I'm going to say paste without formatting because I don't want to style the font or anything. I want to use the documents default. So I'm going to say there. I'm going to want this to go in the center. So align center. And that's it. That's me, me letterhead. So now we've got that. What we want to do is create the next version. If you want to see how you can turn this into a template, uh, it doesn't work quite as Microsoft. Well, Word does, there's an option there to save as template. And then every time you open it, it won't allow you to override the existing one. If you want to see how we can do that on Google Docs, let us know in the comments and I'll do that in a future video. So let's do the next template format. Now in this one, it, this is going to be full page. So let's go new. So this is going to be edge to edge. Now we've double clicked into the header. Let's find the image. I'm going to use a variation of this in a previous video some people couldn't see the rocket so i've actually gonna use a darker version so you can see it clearly on the video so if i bring that in so we'll go insert image do it from computer i'm gonna go with the extra one because as i said i wouldn't normally go this dark but I want it for obviously the video purpose. So now it's loaded. As you can see, it's now occupied the full page or as much as it can. We want this to obviously go corner to corner. You'll see I haven't got it. I need to click on the image, go to image options. First thing I want to do is the text wrap. I want to be able to write on top of this text. So what we'll need to do is go to text wrapping. We want this to be behind the text. So the address here is actually part of the image. So this isn't a uh, real text for want of a better word. So if we click on that, you'll see the head is now resized. Now what we want to do is get this into the corner. So we might be able to move that. So we could spend all day trying to move this image on the document or if we go to position and we want fixed position on page so we want to start it in the xy position so we want to start it at zero which moves it to the extreme left and the y position 
we want to start at zero so this should move it to the extreme top so that's it now the header itself you'll see that bar there what we want to do is when we start writing we want to be dropping uh, just below the logo another option once you've moved and fettled with the header if you are finding it difficult to move or get the precise measurements you want if you go to format header footers we want to go to more options and you can see we've got that 3.76 should ideally have my glasses on i'm going to just bump that to four apply that's moved us down i'll probably go header footer more options let's go to five and see how that looks yeah so if i was to start typing on this it would start there yeah that's quite nice there's a reasonable amount of white space there so if you just go to the page the text i'll just drop some in so i've got something to print i'm going to drop it without formatting um we'll do that obviously the 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 rockets in a uh, normal case wouldn't be this dark i just need it to show on the video so if i'm happy with this i can go print or the other option is to download as a pdf i'm going to say pdf bring this into frame and as you can see nice professional looking and it's gone to the edge so if they were to print it and they've got printing capacity that would allow uh edge to edge printing or borderless printing as it's known uh they'll see that but most people i mean uh let us know in the comments would you prefer to receive stuff in paper format or as pdf bear in mind we've got a planet to look after as well if you want more tips on growing your business using all aspects of the internet do tap the subscribe button now so you don't miss out on any important videos and i'll see you in the next one